Hello students, today I am going to solve for you, solve and explain you the NCRT solutions of chapter 8 that is light, shadows and reflection. So let us quickly begin. Students in the comment section you can mention if you need an explanation of this chapter then I will upload an explanation for the chapter as well. So from the exercise the first question is Rearrange the boxes given below to make a sentence that helps us understand opaque objects. So, students, from the chapter, if you have understood the chapter, you already know that what are opaque objects, right? So, from this, if you see these, you can easily convert it. Let me take a pencil, yes. So, you see the word opaque, okay? Then you see the word objects, objects, shadows, make, right? So, what sentence can we make from here? Opaque objects make shadows. I am writing it over here. You can fill it up in the blanks given, okay? Opaque objects makes shadows right shadows are formed by opaque objects if you take a transparent object and if you put light on uh, it what will happen light will pass through the transparent or translucent object and shadows will not be formed but if you put a light on an opaque object then they will for shadows. All right. Now let us go on to the next question. The next question says classify the objects or material given below as opaque, transparent, translucent, luminous, or non luminous. All right. So we will see what are the opaque we will categorize them right so we will have one category for opaque okay then we will have one category for transparent we will have one category for translucent okay luminous luminous And non-luminous. Where should I write non-luminous? Let us write it over here. Non-luminous. Here only, okay. Non-luminous. Okay. So, let us begin one by one. Hmm. So, first is air. So, students, air is transparent, right? And also, air is, air is non-luminous. What is the difference between luminous and non-luminous? Non-luminous which cannot produce its own light. Okay. So, air obviously cannot produce its own light. So, it is transparent as well as non-luminous. Next is water. Now, water again is transparent. And can water produce its own light? No. So, water is also non-luminous. Then we have a piece of rock. So, students, a piece of rock, we all know it is opaque in nature. So, a piece of rock will go under opaque. Okay. And a piece of rock, is it luminous or non-luminous? It is non-luminous. Obviously, it does not give any, a piece of rock, can it give its own light? No, obviously not. So, non-luminous. Okay. Then we have next a sheet of aluminium. Again, it is under the opaque. A sheet of aluminium. Right. Then we have the next category. A mirror. Mirror. Can you see through a mirror? No, you cannot see through a mirror. That means it is not transparent or translucent. It is under opaque only. Okay. So, mirror. Anything, any object, if you can see through that object clearly, 
then it is transparent. If you can see through the object, not very clearly, but you can still see through a bit, then it is translucent. And if you cannot see through an object at all, then it is opaque. Okay. Then we have a wooden board. Obviously, a wooden board is also opaque. A wooden board is also opaque. Again, all these I have forgotten to write. Mirror, a wooden board, a sheet of aluminium. All these are non-luminous, okay? Just a second. I'll put my phone on silent mode. Okay. So, a piece of rock we have written a sheet of aluminium sheet of aluminium then uh, mirror again the wooden board all these are non-luminous okay remember anything that doesn't produce lights of its own is non-luminous okay then we were a sheet of polythene so a sheet of polythene is it opaque uh, transparent or translucent sheet of polythene if you see through it you will see slightly slightly you can see through a piece of uh, polythene so a sheet of polythene is considered to be translucent sheet of polythene okay students and again sheet of polythene cannot produce its own light so it is non luminous sheet of polythene is non luminous I think by now you guys can do it on your own, right? A CD. A CD. Well, how will you categorize a CD? Transparent, translucent or uh, opaque? Opaque, right? So, a CD is opaque. Smoke. How will you categorize smoke? Smoke is translucent, not transparent translucent okay then a sheet of plain glass students can you see through a sheet of plain glass you can but not very clearly so we can consider it as transparent as translucent also there is no problem you can put it under transparent also okay so, if uh, you ask me, I would uh, rather wanted to put it under transparent, though many uh, teachers, they say that it should be under translucent, okay. A sheet of plain glass. Plain glass, you can clearly see through it, okay. Now, fog. Fog, students, is it what transparent, translucent or, uh, or opaque? translucent just like smoke you can see through but not very clearly right a piece of red hot iron red hot iron will be categorized under opaque right red hot iron okay now you'll say ma'am uh, what about luminous yes if you see red hot iron it produces lights of its own right when iron is red hot it produces light so a red hot iron can be considered as luminous red hot iron and others are all under non-luminous okay though i'm not writing because of the space but the others which cannot produce light are all under non-luminous okay so, an umbrella, obviously opaque, an umbrella. It protects us from sun, has to be opaque, otherwise sunlight will pass through, right? A lightened fluorescent tube. What will you say about a lightened fluorescent tube? It is opaque in nature, okay? Just writing it over here, O opaque okay and since it is a lighted fluorescent tube it produces its own light so it is luminous opaque and luminous o l i have written opaque and luminous 
a wall obviously opaque and it uh, doesn't produce lights of its own so non luminous a sheet of carbon paper so come on tell me a sheet of carbon paper opaque opaque and will it be luminous or non luminous by now you should say it will be non luminous very good the flame of a gas burner what will you say about the flame of a gas burner that's also how will we consider it transparent translucent or uh, opaque come on flame of a gas burner will be opaque okay i hope you are able to answer that's why i'm giving a pause a sheet of car cardboard opaque right a lighted torch again over here it is producing its own light so it has to be luminous a lighted torch has to be luminous right all of you is it clear to you all and obviously opaque torch is obviously opaque in nature a sheet of cellophane cellophane paper we use to cover our books na sometimes so a sheet of cellophane paper is it translucent transparent it is translucent in nature okay so translucent tl translucent and it doesn't produce lights of its own so it is non luminous okay a wire mesh students a wire mesh how will we categorize a wire mesh have you all seen a wire mesh how does it look like a wire mesh is basically uh, you know uh, you cannot see clearly through it but you can see so you can consider it to be translucent okay and obviously non luminous kerosene stove kerosene stove is again opaque right then sun how will you categorize sun can you see through sun no so it is not transparent right you cannot see through sun it is luminous because it produces its own light you can say that and it is opaque in nature okay firefly again luminous because it produces its own light and opaque moon okay moon does not produce its own light right does moon produce its own light no it gives light from the sun so it is opaque and non luminous i hope you have understood this in case if you have any doubts you can mention it in the comment section okay now number 3 can you think of creating a shape that would give a circular shadow if held in in a way and a rectangular shadow if held in another way okay let me show you this if you take a cylinder okay and if light falls on the cylinder in this way then the shadow formed will be a circular one okay but if this same cylinder if light falls on it like this then the shadow that will be formed will look rectangular okay so what you can write you can draw the diagram for illustration and for your answer what you can write you can write that a cylinder can cast shadow in two ways one way how it will cast if held in one way and uh, like if you put it uh, if uh, if if you put the shining object on the top circular faces then a circular shape shadow is formed and if the curved side faces that means this one this is exposed to the shiny object or to the light then in that case a rectangular shadow will be formed okay number 4 in a completely dark room if you hold up a mirror in front of you will you see a reflection of yourself in the mirror try yourself try completely you know just enter into a complete dark room and there's a mirror in front of you and try looking yourself into the mirror will you be able to see your image no 
you will not be able to see your image why because to see reflection source of light is required and if you are in a dark room there is no source of light right always remember in order to see your image in order to see objects around you in order to see anything we need light so in dark there is absence of light you cannot see any object around you neither your reflection or image in the mirror okay i hope you all have understood this these question answers if you all need any kind of help please mention it in the comment section i'm always there for you guys thank you and take care